Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Ty, and today, guys, we're back with another NBA prediction video. I mean, uh, yeah, so as you guys can see, I have released my NBA playoff predictions a couple months ago, and today we'll be reacting to them now that the Lakers have won the championship. Now, my bracket got completely messed up. I made a lot of the right decisions, believe it or not. I actually made a lot of the right decisions. But, um, some stuff happened that made this bracket look really bad. But, without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's a screenshot of my bracket, by the way. Um, so first off, I got both of the 1 versus 8 seeds correct. Um, I got both of those 1 versus 8 seeds correct. Um, both the 1 seeds came out on top. Now, guys, in the second round, uh, or in, in the 4 versus 5 seeds, I... Didn't get the Heat one correct, and now looking back at it, I sound like an idiot. But I thought that TJ Warren was going to uh, play really well. I thought that uh, Victor Oladipo was going to play well. So I thought that the, the the Pacers might win in like seven, but now the Heat ended up winning in four. I just thought TJ Warren was going to keep putting up GOAT stats, and I thought Jimmy Butler was going to crumble. Obviously, I think the opposite happened. Um, Rockets-wise, I did get that one correct, but it went to seven. I thought it was only going to five or six, but it did go to seven. Uh, props to the Thunder for at least making it that close. Everyone thought you weren't even going to make the playoffs this year. Um, I got both of my three versus six seed corrections, uh, correct, uh, predictions correct. Um, Celtics ended up beating the Sixers in four, and the Nuggets, uh, did end up beating the Jazz. They were down 3-1, and they came back down from 3-1. So, uh, yeah, for a couple, uh, days there, I thought that my bracket was going to be totally messed up, but at least I got that right after they came back down 3-1. Two versus seven seed, both got those correct. Both of the seven seeds ended up, or two seeds ended up coming up on top. But uh, Luca and the Mavericks put, end up putting up a great fight in the end, sending it to six against the Clippers, who we'll talk about again later. So then my second round matchup in the West, the one versus four seed were correct. Um, uh, the Lakers ended up winning. I also predicted that. Um, I said five or six, I'm pretty sure. I think they, they went five, right? So, uh, I, I guess that correctly, I guess. Um, not much to say there. Then, in the East, obviously, my second round for the one versus four seed is sort of messed up. Um, it was actually the one versus five seed, Bucks versus Heat. And, um, yeah, this is where my bracket really gets messed up. The Heat end up beating the Bucks and heading to the conference finals. Um, I don't think anyone saw this coming. You would have to be a diehard Heat fan to think this was going to happen. Even then, it might not. you might not have thought it was going to happen. But, yeah. I don't think I can really blame myself too hard for not picking the Heat. Because you got to remember, I made this before the playoffs. I made this before they all started going off. I just thought they'd be maybe a first or second round exit. But yeah, props to the Heat for putting up a great run, as we know they end up, end up making the finals. Um, then, uh, two versus three seed in the West. Um, I ended up getting this wrong, but I think we all ended up getting this wrong. Um, the Clippers end up blowing a three to one lead to the Denver Nuggets, as we all know. So I don't know. That's another one where it's like I don't think anyone in the whole. Uh, Whole NBA thought that was going to happen. But it did, so I guess that's another wrong for me. Um, okay. So then we got Celtics versus the Raptors. The, uh, I said the Raptors were going to come up on top in seven. It ended up being the Celtics in seven. I am a Celtics fan. I just thought the Raptors were a much better team. Turns out not. We ended up winning in seven, which is awesome. But I did, unfortunately, not get that pick right either. But I got the amount of games right. And when a series come down to one game, and our series even came down to a chase down block, um, you know, it, it's, it's, I can't blame myself too much for getting that one wrong. It's pretty close. So, so far, I've gotten quite a few wrong. But at the same time, you can't blame me for too many of them. No one thought the Bucks were going to lose. No one thought the Clippers were going to lose. And I predicted one wrong in a game seven. Um... Then, um, my conference finals are, like, totally messed up. My Eastern Conference finals were Bucks versus Raptors. 
I said the Bucks were going to come out on top, but of course we know the Bucks didn't even make it here. Neither did the Raptors, so realistically it was Celtics versus Heat. Uh, as we all know, the Heat came out on top, didn't make a prediction for that because I didn't think it was going to happen. And then, guys, Clippers versus Lakers obviously also didn't happen. I still had the Lakers coming out to the finals, though, which did happen. They just did it over the Nuggets instead of the Los Angeles Clippers, who did choke in the second round. So, our... My predicted finals matchup was Lakers versus Bucks, which now looking back at it was stupid. The Bucks got eliminated in the second round. Um, ended up being Lakers versus Heat in real life. And I did pick the Lakers coming out top. So, I mean, I picked the NBA champion correct. You gotta give me credit for something. But most of my path there was quite incorrect. Um, yeah, my path there was pretty, pretty, pretty incorrect. But, I mean, it's the result that matters, and I guess the result here you could consider the NBA champion, so I can't guess them correct. But the rest of it, a lot of it was wrong. But, yeah, tell me if uh, what were your biggest surprises of the playoffs um, this year. But I guess that's going to do it for the NBA playoffs and this looking back at my predictions video. So if you guys enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.